everyone welcome back to our channel go dynamic it as you know today is the internet is full of microsoft blue screen news you can see here on my screen all across this internet whether it's x or any news portal or microsoft site or to anywhere you see all this blue screen messages is uh, buzzing i know this happened because of one wrong update from the cloud strike yeah they have sent some update which is conflicting with the microsoft services and that is causing the blue screen but don't worry we have a fix for this in today's video we are going to fix this blue screen logging into the safe mode so i have received many of uh, complaint that users are not able to log into the safe mode on the laptop or desktop so i have a solution for that also i'll help you to boot your laptop or desktop into the safe mode so let's do that so what we have to do is we have to on your windows pc or laptop you have to press the power so listen carefully what i'm going to say here so you on your laptop or desktop you have to press the power button and once you press the power button it the system will boot and it will show you the either it will show you the logo windows logo or it will show you this round circle on your screen and the moment you see either of them whether it's a windows 10 or 11 just press the power button and forcefully shut down the system you have to do it twice and third time system will automatically log into the boot mode so let's do that let's do that together okay so let me press this power on button and when when as i press the power on button and it will show you the first it will show you the bios menu and then it will show the logo the moment you say the logo just press the power button just hold the power button that's called forceful restart okay so done first time is done now you have to again hold the power button so that the system will start and the moment you again you see this windows logo or the circle round going round and round just press the power off just press the power off just force the power button on your laptop or desktop the system will shut down forcefully shut down third time just power on the system don't do anything just power on the system and you will see you will see on your screen it says that preparing automatic update yes you will see the preparing automatic repair and then you're good now you're in the process to boot into the safe mode just hold down a second i'll, I'll tell you the step by step process and now you see that it says that diagnosing your pc okay go ahead all of you right it's diagnosing your pc okay so once you see this it will move to your automatic repair so in automatic repair you have two options restart or advance so we have to go to advanced option click on the advanced option and then in the advanced option you have a four options here continue user device turn off and then troubleshoot so we have to select on the troubleshoot you can see this screwdriver icon here just click here troubleshoot and once you go to the troubleshoot again you have a two options Rest reset this pc or advanced option so we have to go to advanced option and advanced option we have a option it says that uh, startup repair setup startup settings uninstall ufi and system restore now we have to select all the startup settings click on the startup settings and you can see here in the startup setting it is showing you the option that it will log into these many modes so you can see there is the option called safe mode you can see here right so this is what we want so what we need to do is we have to click on the restart so system will restart into the safe mode so let's go there and okay so now here you can see it says that a startup settings and in the startup setting you have to choose the option here so you can see the number four is the safe mode right so let's go and press the number four on our keyboard and the moment we press the number four the system will boot into the try to boot into the safe mode so let's see okay so now a system is booted into the safe mode let's put our password here okay so now we have a password here but before that let me tell you one more thing if, you, if your pc with added with your uh, bit locker key you have to unlock your computer with the bit locker key so you have to go to myaccount.microsoft.com and there you have to log in with your uh, maybe the office id or uh, corporate id whatever id you have and once you have that then you get the pin and unlock it once you unlock it then you log into the safe mode anyhow so assume that you had logged into the safe mode so from here we have a couple of options so what we can do is we can log into the command prompt let's say let me show you this command prompt okay let's say log into the command prompt and inside the command prompt we have to type the command is called uh, this is del and then c column just press the tab windows 
and then press this slash and then system press the tab here system 32 again slash and then you have to press the drivers oops sorry for that put this dri ver driver slash and then you have to put the cloud strike crowd strike and then we have to type slash again and this is the file name c hyphen how many zeros two four and five one two three four five two nine one and then we have to give the asterisk dot csys so you have to delete these files and press the enter so once you press the enter it will delete the file with the starting with the c and then we have given the wildcard mask here and once you've done that close this one and restart the system it will boot in the normal mode and then it will fix the problem this is the first one now if you don't want to go with the command prompts i'll show you the gui mode click on this file explorer and then we have to go to um, this pc inside the this pc you have to go to c drive in the c drive we have to go to windows and then we have to go to system 32 where is our system 32 system 32 inside the system 32 we have to go to drivers inside the driver we have to go to cloud strike and inside the cloud strike you have to delete all the files which is a starting from c hyphen and this 0000291.c291 and then whatever file name you have dot sys delete all the files and restart into the normal mode and this will fix your problem or we, what you can do is you have to go to the drivers and you have to go the same path see windows system to drivers rename this cloud strike file rename this just just rename that look on this rename and this let's say cloud strike 666 that's it so you will rename the file and just restart your computer in the normal mode and this is going to fix the blue screen error so this is problem as i said that this problem is just because of this wrong update with this uh, this the file which you see here this is uh, the conflicting with the windows system and that's the reason uh, it's you see the blue screen on your screen this is by mistake done by the cloud strike so that solution is coming from them itself right so let's go ahead and do that and do let me know in the comment box if this fixed the problem right so thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one